Eucharist, St Paul's Cathedral, the 29th of August, 2021. Jewelled to sky, the dome rises on in painted bows, as if to guide beyond trappings to clear blue truth. Its vaunted space, flowered by song, reaching sunward like jas jasmine breath, a choir through fire. Detecting quickened rhythm in familiar chests, I turn time's pages, slow and stilled. We wait. The wine's burn lingers as we break cover, a thin procession with banners concertinaed from backpacks around the dais. No faith in fossil fuels. Churches divest now. Uncovered, the cross and hourglass bind us together. From the pulpit, the words we chose swell and swim through silence. Heart full, absorbing welcome, I open eyes on applause, unsuspecting that police are on their way. Hello, Susan, all right? Tall in black, the officers in charge, once us gone by church request. Though we turn no tables, no further congregations will be admitted while we remain. Like a flock at gunshot, the gratitude for our reminder has taken flight. Millions my head can't hold could fund life, could warm without inferno. We stay, letters in the post and arms linked, offer the police cordon amazing grace. Words fudged, but line held in quietest sore. The glue I hid has sealed connections now. Outside, they expect a stream of burdens lifted in sacrifice for media lens. Instead, through the crypt, around clandestine corners, and one by one, we're secreted away. In the custody suite, the smiles have roots, branch free. I select from faith and practice, read aloud, fill with kinder light. Sing about standing for love, even with a broken soul, even with a heavy heart, I stand for love. I honour everyone I hold dear, and dare alone, uncluttered and at peace, to believe. I'm Mark Coleman, a priest in the Manchester Diocese, and I'm here outside St. Paul's Cathedral today, where, with members of Christian Climate Action, we have unfurled a banner asking the Church of England to divest. That's my church. I am ashamed that we are investing so much, £70 million or so, in fossil fuels. It's time to stop that investment and move the money into something that saves life and protects all our futures in God's name. Letter from Christian Climate Action to Diocesan Directors of Finance, Bishops and Diocesan Environment Officers. We're writing to the following dioceses still investing in fossil fuels, namely York, London, Winchester, Bath and Wells, Birmingham, Chelmsford, Chichester, Ely, Guildford, Hereford, Leicester, Lichfield, Lincoln, Norwich, Peterborough, Rochester, St Albans, Salisbury, Southwark, Southwell and Nottingham and Truro. Subject, act now, divest immediately from fossil fuels. At this time of climate and ecological emergency, we stand at a defining moment for the future of humanity, especially the most vulnerable and young people who have done least to cause the climate crisis. The landmark IPCC report, published on the 9th of August, is unequivocal in its code red warning for humanity. 
it is beyond time that the Church of England finds its voice and divests immediately and entirely from fossil fuels and calls unequivocally on the UK government to act now to end the production, sale and use of fossil fuels. We write, therefore, to urge you to take action on the following. Firstly, to announce immediately your intention to divest from all companies whose core business is to produce fossil fuels. Secondly, to divest from all fossil fuel investments before the 31st of December 2021 and to commit not to invest in fossil fuel companies in the future. Thirdly, to speak out urgently for immediate action to prevent irreversible climate impacts, to ensure a livable planet for all of God's creation and to protect the poor and vulnerable. Divest from fossil fuel companies. The Church of England national investing bodies have pursued a strategy of engagement with fossil fuel companies. This strategy has failed to prevent Shell from harming the people of the Niger Delta and from continuing plans for fossil fuel exploration, which includes a 20% rise in gas production. On the contrary, the strategy has given moral legitimacy to companies whose core business is destroying lives and livelihoods and continuing to lobby against climate action. It is time to act now. Commenting on the IPCC report, Antonio Guterres, the UN Secretary General, has warned, There is no time for delay and no room for excuses. This report must sound a death knell for coal and fossil fuels before they destroy our planet. If we combine forces now, we can avert climate catastrophe. But as the report makes clear, there is no time for delay and no room for excuses. Fatih Birol, the International Energy Agency's Executive Director and one of the world's foremost energy economists said, If governments are serious about the climate crisis, there can be no new investment in oil, coal or gas from now from this year. Your fellow bishop, the Right Reverend Ernesto Manuel, the Bishop of Nampula in northern Mozambique, puts the case for divestment very clearly. He says fossil fuel investments increase climate change and impacts on those most vulnerable and also destabilise communities. We plead with the international community, take your money out of fossil fuels and invest in renewable energy, which is decentralised, benefits local people, and does not contribute to climate change. The UK hosting of COP26 in November provides a unique opportunity for action. We urge you to announce your immediate attention to divest from all fossil fuel companies by the end of this year, and to call on the UK government and world leaders to act now. Your prophetic voice will be a source of inspiration and a clarion call to all humans in positions of authority that deeds, not words, will prevent humanity from destroying God's creation. Yours in faith, Christian Climate Action.